And he'd then gone to work for the tobacco lobby, who found him to be the perfect witness for their case. So when people come up to me and they, they say, oh, we like, we like your radio show more or less, we love the way that you debunk all those dodgy statistics, I start to feel a bit uncomfortable because for me, good use of statistics is, yeah, sure, it's about understanding what's a lie. It's about spotting things that, that aren't true. But it's also about finding out what is true. And statistics are a tool to see what's true about the world. And there are certain things you can't see in any other way than by using the statistical lens, any more than medics could get past without scanners and x-rays and astronomers could get by without telescopes. A social scientist needs statistics to understand the world. An economist needs statistics. An epidemiologist, as we've seen in these times of COVID, needs statistics. They provide answers to vital questions. It's so much more than funny stuff about storks and babies. Tim, you did mention you have a radio show that does a lot of debunking and you do a lot of praise of statistics too, but do you worry that people are, are only hearing the debunking side of your work and you're inadvertently becoming this, this figure like this tough guy? Yeah, I, I, I do worry about that. And, and uh, increasingly on more or less, I've been thinking about it and encouraging my, uh, my colleagues, because it's a team effort, um, to think about the... Um, not the positive side as in, oh, we should cheer statistics and say that statistics are great, but the positive side in the sense of, we need to help people understand what's true, uh, not, rather than just understand what's not true. And it's, it's really easy to say, oh, this cabinet minister said this thing, or Donald Trump said this thing, and it isn't true. That's fine, but it feels really lazy to just do that. Uh, and ultimately, people, people don't just want to know, oh, a politician lied to me. They want to know, how the world really is. At least some people, I think, are curious about how the world really is. So I'm, I'm always looking for, OK, we found out what's not true, now tell me what is true. Tim, is there absolutely no value to this correlation between storks and babies? Because if I said to you, country X has this many storks, and I really, really need to know how many babies are being born, and I can't get the information, you've kind of almost persuaded me that well, I could, I could glean the information anyway, even if, it, even if it's not the, the cause is wrong, the link is still useful. Yeah, that's such a good question. I mean, I suppose a lot of computer science these days, a lot of the way that artificial intelligence works, the pattern recognition in artificial intelligence is basically saying, I want to look at what correlates with what. So, you're, for example, you're showing me lots and lots of photographs of dogs and wolves and you're telling me this is a dog, this is a wolf, this is a dog, this is a wolf, and I, as the computer, am trying to figure out what the pattern is, I might start looking for dog collars. You know, even though dog collars don't make dogs, and they, you know, a, a wolf can wear a dog collar, if you're careful, um, you know, that might be the best way for a computer to tell the difference. And similarly, Brady, if you want to figure out the population of babies and you know the population of storks, um, th there's information here. Uh, but it's, it's a thin kind of information. It's the, it's not, it's the information you'd only want to rely on in desperation. You certainly wouldn't want to then uh, you know, be arguing for a particular biological mechanism. Because um, I have other theories about where babies come from that might be more compelling. Here we go. All right, 30 seconds. Sell me that book. So this is a book that begins with the story of Darrell Huff and the Storks and is an attempt to help you understand the world, to really think clearly. As the subtitle says, 10 rules for thinking differently about numbers. I want you to be able to understand your own reactions to numbers. I want to help you understand the world. Uh, and I want to help you think in a clear way about that world. And numbers are a really good tool for doing that. How much does it cost? Well, I think the cover price is 20 